Hello guys, welcome back. Right, we're back with scales and chords again. Uh, improvisation basics uh, series continues. So we've addressed a few things. Now it's time to actually pair, sorry about that, pair the different chords with all the scales that we've spoken about, right? Now, how, how this works is that chords Chords are usually built in, in, for the purposes of this lesson, they're built in thirds, right? So if you're on C, you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, see, like that. And you would just move up, having each note a third, um, on a third. it so easy to understand right now in a major scale if we voice our notes in thirds the first chord is going to be a major seventh chord and the second chord is going to be a minor seventh chord the third is also going to be a minor seventh chord the fourth is going to be a major seventh chord and the fifth is going to be a dominant seventh or a seventh chord and the sixth is going to be a minor seven chord again. And the last one is going to be, the seventh one is going to be a minor seven fret five chord. All right. So we've got, we've got two major chords, one on one and on four. Right. And then we've got three minor chords on two, on three, and on six. Right. And then we've got one dominant seven chord. And then we've got one minor seven five chord, right? So that's all the chords, right? So when we're on the first chord, which is a major chord, we're gonna use a Ionian scale. Right, then the second chord is going to be a D minor 7 chord. We're going to use the D Dorian scale. Right? When we're on the third chord, we're going to use the E minor 7 and we're going to play the E Phrygian. Right? When we're on the fourth chord, we use a Lydian scale. So it's F major 7 chord with an F Lydian. Right? Right? Okay. And then when we're on our fifth chord, which is a G dominant 7. We're going to play the G Mixolydian scale. Right? When we're on the sixth chord, excuse me. When we're on the sixth chord, we're going to play an A minor seven. A minor seven chord with an A. Aeolian scale. Right? When we're on the last chord, which is a B minus 7 fret 5, we're going to play the B Locrian scale. Right? 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 
So now, why we need to learn what chord goes with what scale is because every song, right, has an underlying harmony, right? And that harmony will determine what scale we use. Let me make an example. So let's say that was our progression. All right, now let me try that just using the C major scale. Do you see how it clashes? And this is what happens when people try to improvise on a song and they ignore the changes, okay? When you've learned the rules of the changes, you can break them, but you can't break the rules if you never learned them. So every scale has an accompanying chord and vice versa, all right? Sometimes a chord has more than one scale, which actually is cool because that adds to color. I could give an example, right? We have three minor scales, right? Right? Three minor chords that occur in the C major scale, right? Now, I could use I use the Dorian there, right? For that minor. But, I could also use a Phrygian If your D, for instance, if your D minor 7 chord occurred in the key of C, you'd use your Dorian. Right? But if it occurred in the key of, what do you call it? In the key of B flat, it would be the third minor chord. And you'd play something like this. Right? So, if it, for instance, occurred in the key of F, of which F does have a D minor 7 as its 6th chord, you go. See? And that's how you'd work these things out. Alright? Let me make you another in, 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 uh, 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 um, example of sort of rule breaking or rather using the chords in other contexts. Our C major 7 chord occurs in two keys. It occurs in the key of C and in the key of G, right? So a C, uh, a C Ionian would work well, right? But because it also occurs in the key of G, a C ladium would work. That's sharp 11. See? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's try it again in the key of C sharp. C sharp major 7 chord with an Ionian scale. D or E flat, yeah. E flat minus 7 with a Dorian. F minus 7 with an F Phrygian. Then F sharp major seven with a Lydian scale, F sharp Lydian. Then A 
flat dominant seven with an A flat mixolydian scale. And then you have a B flat minor seven with a B flat aeolian. And then you have a C minor seven flat five with a C Locrian. So of G That's how you work out the scales. So that's how the scales come together. Right. 